right, uh, video I should not have to make, kind of drama, yes, old drama though, um, and this creepy fellow, the Queen Kaka, Kaka, -ka. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, uh, this is just so, anyway, so the story is, okay, context, so this guy, previous to this, whatever it is, this happening, had just sort of been outed as being a guy who narked on Fred because Fred made some art, art videos that had some nudity and, um, you know, aggressive message sending, um, blood and whatnot. And he thought this too outrageous for the internet and decided he had to do something about it and save the poor, fragile viewers of the internet. Um, apparently he thinks the entire internet should be child safe and anybody who doesn't aggressively make it child safe is trespassed in some grotesque way and um, he thought it was his obligation to contact Fred's employers and inform them that Fred is misbehaving in his personal life in some way that they need to do something correct his behavior by extorting him like you're going to be fired because you're putting us in jeopardy or some kind of crap like that so an insanely, aggressively malicious and invasive act. And he's admitted it. It's clear he did that. And so that's context one. Okay? He's done it before. That's a big fat fact. Okay? Um, you know, that's a strike kind of thing. You know, when you go into court... You're each time, and you have a reputation and a history, you have to live with that. And that's your history. That's your reputation. So, um, you sort of get what you deserve, um, fella. But anyway, so, the, separate from this, of course. Okay, so, um, I did blog TV for a short period of time. Um, apparently, I don't even remember doing blog TVs, but apparently I did a couple. And, um you know, of live rooms, and um, during one of those live rooms, the cops came to the door and inquired to, in some kind of, you know, they're not going to tell me exactly what's going on because they're there at 2.30 in the morning because they've gotten some call that obliges them to investigate. So the call, apparently, from the pieces I could knit together from their inquiry, had something to do with me making a threat against the local high school. Now, the way this pieces together, in the sense that he's claiming I've told two different stories. I've never told two different stories. I've just pieced together the pieces. And um, somewhere in the blog TV, I had mentioned the West. This, the high school is called West Morris. Okay? <laughs> so the word West, and the rest of the conversation was about Hitler and stuff. I think, and um, my attitude that, you know, bad judges should be thrown in jail and these people shouldn't be allowed to violate people's constitutional rights. And so, the, but there was, a, so the point is the cops had to come because somebody made a threat, because somebody called and said somebody's making threats against the high school. Now, whether they had reason to say that doesn't matter. They're allowed to do it. They're allowed to make anonymous phone calls to the police department and, and claim a threat. And even if the phone calls aren't anonymous, like I said, especially when it comes to something that's happening live on the Internet, the police have an obligation to investigate. They really can't not take it seriously. And I don't have any right to know who made the accusations. We know that's the, the, the catch of this ugly business that goes on. Uh, you know, because the, the innocent narkers have to be protected from vengeance. Um, you know, by the people they abuse, <laughs> and, uh, you know, grotesquely. Um, so, unless you want to pursue legal matters, you know, unless you want to get a court order to find out who made the um, complaint, you're kind of just stuck with being fucked by somebody who can fuck with your life in this way, by making a false claim, obliging police to come to somebody's house because they're going to claim you made a threat of some kind. And so I simply had to just tell the cops, no, I'm just having a conversation on the Internet, and, you know, somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, and therefore they decide to attack me by abusing you. And 
you know, I wish I had a better story to tell, but that's the story of this waste of time. And the cops were perfectly cordial, um, apologized for, you know, the inconvenience, and went on their way. Um, he even says at the end of this video that I was arrested. I mean, he just, he, he just, it's just, oh, he's just so pathetically dishonest. And it's just disgusting that he gets away with this shit. You know, that somebody can lie so grotesquely um, and, and slander somebody in such a, you know, like I say, he uses my personal name in this video, which he doesn't need to do. There's no need to do that. There's no need to talk about any, any, to, to, to elaborate in any way about elements of my channel that are not the focus of my channel. My channel doesn't display my real name. My channel doesn't do any of this stuff. It's not built around that. And the whole idea of in mendum, nobody even, nobody could even pronounce it originally. So no one even had an idea that had something to do with me living in the town of Mendham. This is all details nobody needs to know. So and again, maybe I need to know what your, what is your name? Uh, uh, what, what does this stand for? Ka ka ka. What is the what, what's the with the k k k k? <laughs> what was with that? Anyway. And, you know, the fact that you can't stay a, a real color seems that you might have a problem with the color. All right, anyway. So, yeah, let's just go. I, I mean, I, I took a couple of time codes just of ludicrous parts, and so we'll just go through some of the ludicrous parts because it's ludicrous. The, um, so, so anyway, so I'll just tell the story. You know, so I made a video about that. He's, he's somehow, I've never made a, I never made a connection between the cops being here and anything about pedophilia. The argument wasn't that I was a threat to the high school because I was going to molest children at 2.30 in the morning. The threat was is that I might be some kind of terrorist that was going to blow up a school or something. So this had, they, they asked me no sexual questions. They asked me no, they were inquiring about no harm to children kind of thing. It was you know, an act of violence against the institutional kind of thing. It had nothing to do with molesting children. It had to do with blowing them up, if anything. Idiot. I mean, liar. The police were over at this time. In the Let's go a little bit louder. The reason they were over at his house was because he was uh, one of the parents uh, in his locale uh, had called the police because he was walking around with his camera around a school okay so this is he says he heard this rumor and this is what he's going to now make a public video about is some rumor he heard from who he says claims to be somebody who knows me now if they knew anything about me they know that i have an anxiety disorder and i don't go anywhere and the cops know that the cops know me um and um I haven't been within a half mile of a school in 25 years. So this rumor is easily debunked as absolute nonsense. And I obviously didn't come from a source who knows me at all. Because they would know I can't walk to where the schools are. And I have never made an amendment video at the school. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious that never happened. Unless the school is, you know, floating in the stream somewhere. So it's just a, an easily, just even watching my 4,000 videos, it's quite obviously I don't walk down public streets. <laughs> Shit. And somebody thought he looked creepy, they thought there was something weird about it, so they complained to the police. Right, and if they did do that, the police wouldn't come at 2.30 in the morning, quite obviously. So obviously this happened, somebody called the police at 2 o'clock in the morning, or we could say 2.15, and the cops don't have much to do, and they said, well, okay, let's go harass this guy because somebody gave us a crank call. And so that's what they did, because they essentially are obligated because of the hysteria around all this crap. So we know that these are this is an easy way to attack somebody, is just to label them a terrorist or a foreigner or something, and yeah, the cops will show up. So it's not that tough to do. Um, but we know it had nothing to do about some sort of complaint about child safety because, yes, then the cops wouldn't have waited till 2.30 in the morning to do their investigation. They wouldn't start their investigation at 2.30 in the morning. They might follow me like they did when I was, you know, 13 and take pictures of me, you know, stealing some cement. <laughs> you know, actually did that. 
They actually wasted cops to watch a kid steal cement to make a swimming pool for turtles. See, I stole a little bit of cement to make a cement pool for my turtles. They took pictures of that. Kind of funny. Now, this is what I heard, and this is just a rumor. Right, okay, and so you just, you, you're just now, you know, rumor milling uh, publicly on the internet, making these accusations, impugning my character, and you're not calling me a pedophile, you're just implying I'm one, <laughs> you know, so that's somehow different, right? I mean, he does it at the end of the video, and it's just such a joke, he's talking about how I'm not allowed to accuse people who accuse me of something, of something outrageous. And he even brings this up, like, I haven't, I didn't call any, that, that's a new shtick. You know, I didn't start doing the, oh, well, fuck you, pedophile. I didn't do that until like three years ago. You know, when people just say, you beat your wife or something, and the response is, but you molest your children, right? That's what else you're going to do with assholes like this. They make false accusations about you, then you're just, what can you do except make false accusations about them? And the conveniently worst accusation you can make about somebody is to imply they're a pedophile. But you're not implying it. You're, you're going a step further than just making the implication. You're defending an argument, suggesting it. And that's just vile, you sick fuck. Right. And I didn't really push this thing because it is just a rumor. I'm like, Piro will run with any rumor. All right, well, we don't need to do the Piro part because I'm not responsible for Piro calling it swatting or something. So he does the whole thing about, I don't give a shit. I, all I ever said was that some asshole, um, because they lost a fucking argument, decided to call cops because they're petty losers like you and you've done it before that's the whole point before you agree you didn't agree with Fred's artistic taste and you decide to fuck with his personal life that's the evidence here jackass all right well, here I think he says something stupid it's totally insane and uh, I have said before and I will say it again I did not call the police on Gary um, when people accused me of that I did not do a whole lot to discourage them from spreading that rumor. Okay, so this is after he's been outed as the Fred terrorist, right? As, as fucking with Fred's personal life. And then he gets accused of fucking with somebody else's personal life. And he doesn't take the accusation seriously and just laughs it off and doesn't say, no, that didn't happen. So those are the witnesses I have. Two people have told me he's told them. Okay, he, when, when asked the question, he didn't deny it. Now, it, why, would you, why would you not deny the involvement if you, if you found it repugnant to be accused of that? And you're being wrongly accused of this malicious attack on somebody's personal life. Why wouldn't you deny it? Because you think it's a joke in the context of you already been, being outed as somebody who relies on this tactic to attack your enemies. You know, just as a side note, the video that I did on feminism related to this ka ka, -ka was, <laughs> you know, all of a sudden my down votes on my videos went from 10 to 40. All right. So four time increase in, in the percentage of down votes on my videos. And these are from these misogynist, these, these little creepy, um, you know, dickless wonders who claim they're being treated unfairly. And these are the tactics they resort to, you know, is, is you know, malicious downvoting of videos. And they're, they're the ones arguing they're not getting a fair shake. And that's the kind of fairness they apply to the world. Just stupid weasels. Because I thought they sounded crazy and I thought it was funny. So, so you would think that, right? So after you've already been outed as a guy who attacks people personally for artistic taste, disagreement over artistic taste, <laughs> you know, and you're doing some, you're protecting the children of the internet, you know, from a 60-year-old naked man, because that's just too much, compared to all the crap on the internet. I mean, people fucking pigs. If there's anything on the internet that kids have access to, and you goddamn know it. You goddamn know that... Fred escaping onto the internet is the least of the internet's worries. <laughs> Jesus. What I did not know is that the police were indeed at in Mendoza during a live stream. Uh, yeah, whatever. You didn't know that when. I mean, what a crock of shit. You didn't know it when somebody asked you the question. So somebody asked you a question about 
well, did you do that whole amendment thing, you know, where the cops came to his house? And you don't deny you didn't do it, and yet you didn't know what they were even asking about? You didn't even have knowledge about what took place? And you don't even inquire, like, what are you talking about? You mean somebody's suggesting I did something? What did I do? You don't do anything like that? You're, you're, and you're saying you didn't have a knowledge of this? So who's the liar? I mean, it's an obvious pile of shit. Uh, which I had to backtrack all these videos at in my hand. And thankfully, uh, he left these up. Yes, all the videos I've made have been up. I've said this before. There's only one video I ever took down voluntarily, and that was the one where To Be Serious nagged me into it with a tearful, whiny video because I was hurting the poor, amazing atheist feelings. Um, but I've never taken a video down. He accuses me of taking videos down later in this video. Where, where's your evidence I ever took a video down? Find that, find that evidence for that, you lying piece of shit. You know, to hide something. No, no, never happened, liar. So, on these videos, he gives two different stories of what happened, which should tell you, if you watch them, and then if you watch these stories, it should tell you that he is lying. Right, so I never told two different stories. The night of the incident, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, so I was trying to piece it together. Then some people said some shit in the comments, and that's where your name came up, and uh, the arguments started to make sense because people were piecing that shit together. I had never pieced it together. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, and like I said, it took me a while to figure out that, oh, I was talking about the, the West word came in. Like I said, I said something West. And so that was, I guess, their excuse. Because I, somehow I used the word West in the video, and it's West Morris Regional High School. <sighs> or that he believes two different things at two different times as far as who... Uh, had uh, swatted him or sent police over there? Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, yes, there was there was an evolving uh, uh, dissection of the event because it was, you know, on its face, insane in a way, right? Cops show up at 2.30 in the morning accusing me of something on the Internet at 2.30. I, I mean... What was I? What was I? What was I even supposed to do? Even if I was a terrorist, what exactly was going to be the right response? I was just going to open the door with my AK-47 in my hand or something. I mean, the whole thing was just kind of nonsensical. All right. Anyway, um, so I guess we can jump ahead to. Uh, well, well, just pick a spot, right? Because it's all shit. But I mean, I don't want this video to go on too long. Somewhere in the sixth number, it gets interesting. So we'll start at 5:30. In Menden's house, this was approximately a week after. Um, well, I think it was a week to the day uh, because his uh, WTF shows were coming out on Sundays, and he does make a mention of this on his videos. So this would. Yeah. So this didn't have anything to do with the week before, and I think it was even longer than a week before that the actual video had been removed. I had just referenced the fact that it had been removed a week after, so it's probably two weeks before. Anyway, there was no connect. Nobody was, nobody, nobody heard, I heard made any connection between the YouTube video that got taken down and the cop thing. There was no connection whatsoever, and again, the cops didn't ask any questions about where I had been or what I was, where I was lurking or you know, any kind of bullshit like that, or placing pictures on the internet. So, I mean, I we're probably going to run into it, but I mean, you know, he makes this accusation. I, I said young people in my, you know, that I posted images of young people. I posted images of women who are of legal age, but don't necessarily look legal. All right? Just because I was making the argument that youth is attractive. And that was the argument being made in the video. There was no children in the video. I didn't overtly or deliberately or willfully put any children images in the video. There were no kids in the video. So when I say young people, he converts that into, I said I put kids pictures in the video. You see, that's his cheat. He is the cheater, the liar, the fraud. The dishonest motherfucking cunt who really shouldn't have the freedom to abuse the right of free speech in this way. This is slander and libelous and disgusting. He has no right to just make up shit and, and, and puke it onto the fucking public airwaves like this, this piece of shit. The following week, okay, the week before the police had come over, uh, Amanda made a video about, uh, about the subject of pedophilia. In the video, he says that he had pictures of kids. Uh, I never said that, okay? So that's just a lie. No pictures of kids. 
I said young people. YouTube had pulled the video or they had put a strike against him, something like that, because there were pictures of kids in this pedophilia. That's a lie, too. There's no, YouTube doesn't give you any explanation, so it might have been just the sensitivity of the subject matter, might have been the, the title, might have been something like that, but you don't know why they pulled the video, so that's just another lie. Video for this video about pedophilia. Okay, now this was a week before uh, the police had come to Amanda's house, and uh, let's see what Amanda has to say about this. Uh, but listen, I still, I'm still irritated that YouTube gave me a strike and removed that uh, video on the website. I posted the link to the website. Um, <clears throat> you know why? I mean, really, it wasn't nothing technically. It was nothing wrong with the content. I mean, geez, it's just you can't show images of young people when you're talking about pedophilia. I mean, it's kind of stupid. And right. So my again, and the whole theme of the video wasn't really about being a pe you know pedophile. It, it was, but I mean, it was just about the fact that that's the dilemma. That youth is attractive is the the argument, and this creates a problem. And then, be okay, now I want to make a point about this. Um, and Mendham says, uh, and, he, and he poses this as a question: um, You can't put pictures of children on a video when you're talking about. Okay, so you can't put again children, kids, children, kids. It's all he says. I say young people. He says children and kids, and he puts those words in my mouth. And, you know, I don't know what the right way to say it is. I mean, maybe I could have taken more words and said, well, legal-aged women who look young. I guess I could have said that. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Well, anyway, let's move along. <sighs> see, where the hell are we here? Um, well, maybe that's on this part. I don't, you know, somewhere in here he says, that's where I got involved. So he says those words somewhere in this video. And it's like, who says that? Who gets involved? And you don't say, I got involved when you make, like, you're going to make a response video or something. Involvement sounds like something where you go after somebody and call their employer. That sounds like involvement. So I think that's the, the, the catch word for, yeah, that's when I decide to be uh, more than just a foul mouthed troll and decide to be a malicious, intrusive cunt. Um, let's see what he was talking about here. You're talking about pedophilia? Okay, when you're talking about pedophilia. Okay, so so he's asking uh, kind of in an offhanded way. So these are all quote mine from different videos. So this video happened before this whole incident. This has this conversation has nothing to do uh, in any of my understanding with why the cops were at the, the house. The cops were at the house because there was an immediate thing they needed to respond to. That is, I was a threat doing some sort of physical damage to the institution. Uh, he says you can't put pictures of kids on a video about pedophilia. Now, depending on what state this was in, okay, now this was in uh, New Jersey, and because uh, that's where it commend them, or commend them in, right? Yeah, well, we know this is on the internet, and we, you know, this whole nonsense about states, it wasn't a state that took, you Google didn't do it because there's a state law against it. All right, we know this is just a mess of a, a shithole in the sense of the inconsistency of our right of free speech and free expression. And there was absolutely nothing in the video that was a violation of any fucking law. You, and you're just, again, just lying to imply that you actually think there was something in the video that was a violation of the law. You're a, just a liar. Okay. Um, I don't know what their statutes are. I don't know what their laws are for that area, but I know that uh, in certain areas, um, and possibly on the internet, um, just having a picture. So, so he knows that, and and so just having a picture of a kid in a in a video on the subject of pedophilia. I mean, that's just a, a ludicrous argument. And again, these weren't pictures of kids. So, I just reiterate that there was no effort to exploit children in making the video about children being exploited. Shit. So, you know, I was making some, you know, rather sloppy remarks about Judge Hitner, and, um, you know, so some asshole took advantage of that and called the local cops here. And so at 2 o'clock in the morning, at 2.30, whatever, the cops come knocking on my door, you know, while well, I like... So let's understand. So the Hitner thing is about just a copyright claim that I made in court, and... And he called it harassment. So when I pointed out that Hitler violated my constitutional rights, that's harassment, in his opinion. I'm, I'm harassing an honorable, decent man. And But let's ignore the fact that a year and a half later, I won a federal appeal and had Hitler thrown off the case. So the fact is the federal appeals court agreed with me 
that he had violated my constitutional rights and he wasn't fit to be a fair arbiter of the case. He was thrown off the case. So let's understand, if I was harassing Judge Hittner, would a federal appeals court let a pro se win the appeal? From a different district, no doubt. So I, the appeals court was in the Texas district. So I got an appeals court in a district that wasn't even my own to agree with me that one of their judges had violated my constitutional rights. And you imply that I harassed Judge Hittner? Do you think that's being fair or honest or telling the story straight or doing anything but lying about me? You fucking lying sack of shit. I have Okay, now, I want you to note something right here. Um, I want you to note something right here. He did it before. He did it before. He claims that the police came over because of Hitler, because of Judge Hitler, which uh, Gary should expect that anyway, because Gary has uh, publicly attacked this uh, person in video, online, and this person is a judge. And that had put Gary on a watch list. So Gary was already on a watch list, and then was on a watch list for harassing this judge. Right. For harassing the judge. No, there was no harassment. I was on a watch list because you get on a watch list for a lot of stupid... Just like you have cops come to your house. It's because some malicious person just says something. So I was placed on a watch list because I unfortunately uh, got on Fox News. That's all. I mean, if it, if it wasn't a news story, then it wouldn't have been a watch list story. And this goes back to his big uh, cigarette tax uh, fiasco thing that happened later. And it has nothing to do with the cigarette tax case. That was another Harvard judge who doesn't know shit about the law who I got to basically concede he misrepresented the law and the truth in the conversation I had recorded of him. Yeah, he didn't like that I had recorded him lying. A Harvard judge who sits there and lies about what I'm allowed to argue in a case. And then in his decision informs me, after he's closed the case, and after I can't submit any more evidence, he informs me, oh, you were right. You did have right to, uh, right to bring up your constitutional rights. I was wrong to tell you you can't argue federal constitutional rights in my court. Of course you can. But now I've closed the case, so tough shit. And you have to go to Harvard to be that big a fucking criminal. The guy should be in fucking jail for violating my fucking constitutional fucking rights. And I'll say that about any judge who pulls shit like that. Before I ever got into any of this stuff, right? Before I got into any of this stuff. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Before I got into any of this stuff. Who says that about... Somebody on the internet who you respond to or type a comment to. Who the fuck calls that before I got into any of this stuff? Who says that? Except somebody who's doing stuff. Even knew who it meant was the stuff of the cigarette tax and stuff was going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it speaks for itself. It has nothing to do with the cigarette tax case. Nothing. Five years difference between those two cases. More than that. Okay, so now uh, he made this video. This video got pulled, the video with the kids and with the uh, pedophile. With the kids and with the pedophile. No, that's not what it was. The video, on a sensitive video on the subject of child exploitation. And the reference to pedophilia. Uh, yeah, the reference to pedophilia. Okay, and then a week later the cops come over and bust and mend them for... Uh, or yeah, bust. So he says bust here and later he says arrest. Yeah, you're, you're an honest guy. No, they asked some questions because they got a crank phone call from a malicious, intrusive turd who's probably done it before. Or to bust him, but they, they come to question him at 2.30 in the morning, 2 in the morning, whatever it is he says, for uh, Judge Hittner. Okay, now that's his story here. That's his story that he gives. Yeah, no, not for Judge Hittner. They never said Judge Hittner. All they did was imply there was some threat related to the local high school. That's all I could glean out of it. And I had to piece together the fact that I was talking about Hitner in the blog TV. 
I would imagine that if the cops are coming to my door at 2.30 in the morning, it's something I actually just said that they're coming for. But then I realized, no, any idiot can say anything to a cop and they're going to have to respond to it when there's a threat to kids. So they could just make up any story and it doesn't have to have anything to do with what I was talking about. But again, the cops aren't going to tell me these details. And this is the earliest account that I see of the story. You know, while I'm on uh, Block TV, so I was going to show you, but I wish I would have recorded it because, you know, it wasn't while I'm on o'clock in the morning, 2 30, whatever, the cops come knocking on my door. You know, while I'm on uh, Block TV, so I was kind of funny, but I wish I would have recorded it because, you know, it wasn't nice to have a video up. Um, sorry, they were, they were light and all that stuff. They didn't, you know, they really didn't have their guns drawn or anything <laughs> to pick me down. Um, they just wanted to make sure I wasn't a complete wacko who was going to be sending bombs to Texas or something. Okay, now, now keep in mind what he says here. The, the reason the police were there is they wanted to find out that he wasn't some wacko that was, uh, you know, running bombs, hiding bombs, whatever. Well, again, and this is totally consistent with what I just said, right? I didn't know why the cops were here. They don't tell me why they're here, and beyond saying there was some threat to the school. That's all I could glean out of the conversation. I'm just using the Hitner argument because that was what I was talking about at the time in blog TV. I'm just trying to make a comparison to why there were some urgent problem, it would be somehow related to something immediate to the the timing. So that's it. So there was no there was no necessarily evidence that this had anything to do with Hitner besides the fact that that's what I was talking about in the blog TV. Um, that he wasn't a terrorist, whatever that kind of thing. Now that's the reason he gives here. He doesn't say anything about kids. He doesn't say anything about a high school. Right, because none of the conversation with the cops had anything to do with anything about kids except a threat to the institution of the high school. Not a threat to molest children personally. For fuck's sake. He doesn't say anything about, uh, about the live stream itself that he was in when the police had come home. Well, I did say that, so lie some more. Um, so anyway, we'll jump ahead. Oh, this is, what a despicable liar. These people are just disgusting. And these are the guys who think, oh yeah, the women aren't giving us a fair shake. This is their tactic. He doesn't call, he doesn't consider what he's doing right here as key in my fucking car. Is this any, what's the difference? This is just key in my car. This is about as wacky a female kind of cliche as you can get. A petty small dicked weasel who doesn't have any other resource but to invade your personal space and get somebody else to do it. He hires thugs to do it. So he has more than one thing playing at the same time. What the hell is that? Is that is that helpful to um, taking direct quotes from me? Is to have some other crap playing in the background? Yeah, yeah, you've done it. That's right. Then you say somebody else did. Like, oh. okay, now when I say that I reposted something, and uh, yeah, okay, so that was just a little bit where he he's now backpedaling his way out of his his Freudian slip number fifty eight. Um, you know where he claims everybody else was posting this shit when yeah he's posting this shit. Other people reposted something. That's what I mean. I mean that we reposted something. Now I may have misspoke by not saying we all reposted something. I may have not worded it uh, eloquently, but I did say that. I did say that I had reposted it. Yeah, no, you you said that right after you Freudian slipped and said I posted it. <laughs> then you whoops! I don't want to talk. Oh no, no, it's not about me have, on a personal mission. No, 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 it's about everybody on a personal mission because Amendum is so evil. We all did it. No, you did it. I did not deny at any point that I had reposted it. And this is done with... Uh, I didn't claim you that. That wasn't my claims. That's just a silly straw man, right? I didn't claim you didn't say that. I'm just claiming that the Freudian slip was the truth. You reposted it. Mendham's permission, because he knows that with the... Uh, I don't give a shit about all that crap. I'm just saying if you're going to use my content to lie about me, that's a violation of the law, in my opinion. You're not allowed to use my... You're allowed to fairly use my content. You're not allowed to do this quote mining crap and then tell a fake story about what I'm saying or when I said it. That's lying about me. That's slandering me. You're not allowed to use my content to slander me, motherfucker. And that's what you're doing here, you fucking creep. 
application or whatever the uh, license that's under YouTube. And uh, this was off of Piro's channel, that clip. So, uh, so yeah, so I have a right to use that. I had a right to use Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying you don't have a, a right unless you're doing it in this educational, honest way. As soon as you do it in a malicious way where you're trying to imply that somebody is a child molester or you're trying to impugn their character um, and you're making a deliberate effort to hurt their character and you don't have evidence of it, and, and it can be demonstrated that you are basically a person who acts like this, who is a malicious, petty, uh, personally intrusive person. I'm just saying I think I can make a pretty good case that you don't have any honest intent here. This video is just one big, fat, juicy, smelly lie, okay? Uh, every word was twisted and turned. You don't have a right to do that. You don't have a right to say, to play a quote mind clip, and then imply the rest of the statement was Gary just kept talking about how it's kids in the video, it's kids, it's kids, it's kids, when he never said the word kids. That, um, there should be no problem with me using it. I had offered that I had used that clip. So there's no complaint here. This is just more of poisoning the well. He wants to make me look like a bad guy so that everyone will believe his lie that I had somehow spotted him or called the cops. Okay, so again, let's understand. Make him look like the bad guy when he's done it before. Shit. <laughs> All right, 1850. The story. No connection to his video with the kids being pulled. Now, keep in mind that I have this rumor that somebody had told, that two people had told me. That All right, two people, and he claims they're people who know me personally. And he has this rumor. So now he's going he's gonna to publicly cite a rumor. Now, I don't know how much, what the legal context of that is, is whether you can just say... Oh yeah, I, I was told a story by somebody and now I can just retell the story in like in a hearsay way. Somebody can tell me a lie and I can restate it and just say I'm exempt because I didn't know it was a lie. Okay, I'm just saying what they said, you see. So now I don't have to take any responsibility for the fact that it's just an overt slander. It's just a lie. I don't have to take responsibility because I'm just lying for somebody else. Well, I don't think a fair-minded judge is going to say that's a fair interpretation of the law. You don't have any reason, you don't have any evidence to believe it's true, and therefore you don't have an evidence or reason to, to, to plop it on the Internet as if it has, it has any meaning whatsoever. It's not good faith. It's not, uh, it doesn't meet the standard of having an honest intent. It meets the obvious... Um, um, bar of being um, fundamentally suspect in terms of what your intent is. Maybe it's not proof of intent, but it's getting damn fucking close. If you just repeat lies people tell you, your intent is going to be understood to be not trying to educate or inform or do the truth any service. You're just trying to be a malicious troll. That's, uh he was, uh, uh, police were sent to his house because concerned parents at a local school had called and they thought he was creepy. They thought he was weird hanging out. By well, like I said, the, the police will even testify they've never seen me anywhere near any public sidewalk even in this town in 25 years. I did a video where I actually went to the shopping mall because I went back through the woods, you know, walked there. And it had been the first time I'd been in that parking lot in 30 fucking years. I was student by the school with his camera. Okay. People on the internet are crazy. So I'm saying people on the internet are crazy motherfuckers. Now, he writes this crap on here. I do not think you have to. Here we go. Be a detective to figure out why a local parent reported creepy Gary to the local police. So he just said, he's just implying that it's a, it's a fact. He, he's claiming there's some legitimacy that you don't have to be an Einstein to figure out that a local parent thought I was creepy uh, because I went by a school when none of that, even if it did happen, it would be outrageous that I'm not allowed to walk down a sidewalk in front of a school but it factually couldn't have happened and there's absolutely no evidence in my 10 years of chronicling my life on YouTube and it is my life there's absolutely no evidence I've been anywhere near anything like a building that isn't a, a personal house 
So he plays sound effects over a, an almost inaudible clip. Thanks. That's really brilliant. He does have a history of harassing his city officials. So again, any time you do, you make any... So, so the, the complainers who attack people individually, personally, like you, who invade people's personal lives, those people are not harassing. The harassing people are the ones who say to a public official, that looks like graft. I mean, your brother-in-law runs the company you're going to buy the new fire department, you know, the new fire truck from. That's harassment. And if you actually witnessed cops um, committing crimes, <laughs> okay, drink, dr drunk driving, all kinds of stuff, and then you actually have personal evidence, personal um, uh, stories of essentially statutory rape, um, you know, and you just make it clear that I have these personal stories, and obviously the police are so protected from anybody ever taking any of these clowns to court. He said, she said, problem. Okay, now here, and then to give a different version of the same story. Yeah, I really don't like cops, and it's. All right, so this video has absolutely nothing to do with this. This, this video was before the, the, any of this ever happened. It was just a statement about the fact that I don't like cops. And it's basically the same story I'm telling. And I don't want to get into the details, but I, mean, I have really painful, I mean, really hard to witness stories of cops with insane lies they told just to steal some, some young, young girl pussy. It's personal. Um, okay, um, I hit the bank here. Sorry about that. Um, okay, here he does a video where he just talks about where he doesn't like cops. I just put the clip in here because I figured if the police can see this other stuff about YouTube, they see this stuff. Right, so they, at 2.30 in the morning they did this research and decided to go to my house. No, I don't think so. Insane fucktard. All right, let's jump ahead to, I don't know, 20-something, 20 25. Maybe it's worth going another... About Hitler which he seems to be concerned about, uh, I meant. Um, then you can also see these videos where and then them listed as cops, and this is his take on police. Um, I believe this is prior to the police coming over, prior to all of that happening. Yeah, uh, a lot prior. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't like cops. I've done videos after about cops. I don't like cops. I don't like the culture of the protected cop class. They're public servants, and they act like tyrants. And they have no honesty. I mean, they allow the the criminal behavior. Like I said, there's no honest cops because they don't they don't do the Serpico thing. They don't they don't out the criminal behavior that is happens all the fucking time. And you see it all the time. You know, cops plow into somebody drunk, and because they're cops, there's no blood test for eight hours. And it's. A lot of it's personal, um, just personal experience, you know. Uh, I always had long hair. All right, well, this is just irrelevant, so. Uh, 22, jump two. But he must have called the high school and got them all paranoid about some old broken neck video. And, um, you know, I mentioned the West, the word West is in the high school's name. Yeah, so that's where I say the word West is in the high school's name. So, yeah, I don't know, like I said, that's all, the, that's all the pieces you can put together. But again, it doesn't really matter putting together pieces because anybody can call any cop any time and say, there's a terrorist making videos on the Internet and it's threatening the local high school. And they just can't not pay attention. I was meant to be the West. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, I'm trying to drive everyone's children into the sea. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was, the cop was really very nice. It was no big deal. But just this whole idea, you know, the, the, the trolls will go to this length. I mean, they'll, they'll screw around and get people all upset and all concerned that there's some kind of threat. There's no threat. There's no nothing. But they're doing it because they got to harass me. And it's just this bullshit. What specifically did the police say about the high school students? It didn't say anything about the students at the high school. Pitiful. See, that's pitiful, right? See, I, get, I get described as pitiful now. I'm damn that pitiful. You know, there's a length that people will go um, because they can't win an argument. Okay, now think about this. Now the story is that uh, somebody didn't win an argument with uh, Inendum. So Inendum, Gary? That was the same argument made in the previous video, by the way. The, the same exact argument was made. 
that yes, it, this is about some petty asshole uh, trying to attack me personally because they don't like what I'm saying on the internet and it wasn't about anything else. And I said that in the first video and I said that in the second and I said that in the third and I said that through the whole thing. So that was the only thing known for sure is that this was just an act of terrorism by one of you petty um, weasels who can't win an honest argument. Uh, was visited by the police because someone had called the police. Not about Hitler, uh, not about these uh, weapons of mass destruction, not that story, right? Uh, the uh, the reason they were there is because of the local high school. Someone had mentioned that, well, Edmundum himself had mentioned the high school, which was pretty stupid. He mentioned that. I didn't mention the high school. Again, so it's just reference again. I used the word West. And that somehow might have been the connection. But again, there's absolutely no reason to think that the person who made the call was making any reference to anything I said. Again, the, the argument is, is at the time, I, how was I supposed to know all of this? You know, how, how was I supposed to dissect this whole thing out of this little bit of information? It's only in hindsight that you say, well, yeah, somebody can call up and say anything. It didn't have anything to do with what I was talking about. It just had to do with the fact that somebody doesn't like me. They see me on blog TV and they say, I'm going to fuck with that guy. This kind of person. The kind of person who, you know, emails a, 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 the place that somebody's employed at and, and uh, implies there's something they need to worry about when they're employees. A narc. A disgusting, putrid narc. Now, I have seen, personally, I have seen Gary hitting it. On girls in the in the chat room. Okay, so he's personally seen me hitting on girls, and that would, and the 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 implication there is is if I, I recognize a girl as attractive, like say this girl's kind of attractive, if I was to if she came into my room and I said, ah, you're kind of cute or something, I'm hitting, because I've never done anything more than that. So, the that's his argument that I'm sitting there like some kind of uh, monster. And, and the real truth is, uh, you know, frankly, you can find from the old stick cams and everything else that, you know, the chicks was hitting on me. <laughs> Clearly. Or, who I don't know how old they are. They could have been 15. They could have been 18. I don't know. But I have seen him do this. Right. And so he's really concerned about this. And this is something he has to fix in the world is he has to make sure the whole Internet is censored and that everybody is ID'd and proofed before we do anything. So instead of, you know, just banning children from the internet or doing something practical like that, he's saying all of us have to make all of our content child safe. All the interactions have to be child safe. Okay. Now, I can't prove this because he pulled the video. What? Okay. He can't prove this because he pulled the video. A gross lie. So again, now he's saying I'm trying to cover up something, I'm trying to protect my reputation because I deleted something or removed something. That never happened. It's a fucking lie. How many fucking lies does this guy get allowed to make? It's a fucking disgusting lie. You know, I mean, there's nine people thumbing up this video, you know, to three thumbs down. And, and he just, he makes grotesque lies like that. I've never taken a video down by my will, ever. This does tend to um, make sense to me on why the police would be there at 2 or 2.30 in the morning. Why? Okay, that makes sense to you. It's because that's what they do. They, they go to they investigate a claim against somebody being a pedophile by going to their house at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, I see. Why do you think the police would uh, go to his house at 2.30 in the morning to catch him on live stream to talk to him about a complaint that had come to his local high school? Because he was hitting on girls in the live stream. Oh, no, that didn't happen. Again, the cops made no reference to young children, girls, sex, not even any part of the subject, any, not even anything tangentially related to that. The argument was that I was some kind of anti-government type or something, and I was going to do something against the institution. Okay, see, now this is all starting to make sense. You got the pedophile bid that was pulled the week before, um, and forget the fact that, uh, you know, he probably, uh, you know, was trying to do a good thing with it. 
he was probably just trying to impress me. Yeah, just forget that fact. I don't know. Why, why should we forget that fact? That seems like the fact you should put on top and say, let's remember the fact that it was a perfectly sensitive and careful and cautious video attempting to deal with a, a difficult subject in a careful and thoughtful way. Let's just forget about that fact. The issue of pedophilia. But when you call everyone that you disagree with a pedophile, okay? Okay, now that didn't happen in this period of time. So that wasn't until years later where I just got so sick of you lying scum that every time you threw some kind of bogus lie accusation at me, I would just respond with, and you're a pedophile. The, the word pedophile comes up in the searches the next, next to your face and stuff, right? And uh, so this video uh, may have sent a flag to the police. Right, so that couldn't have possibly happened either, but whatever. There was no flag to the police. There's no evidence of any flag to the police or any of that, so that's all bullshit. There was some asshole who picked up his phone and made a crank call to the police. And he did it in just smart enough a way, just, just engineered to say they're going to have to take it seriously. Even though it seems like it's obviously a crank call, they're going to have to, because if they don't, then everybody's going to, you know, when the school blows up the next day, then everybody's going to be like, 9-11, it's an inside job, corrupt, you know, they're all going to sit there and do all this fucking bullshit. We, so we know they have to overreact because they'll get blamed if they don't. If there's the one in a million chance of the guy actually being legitimate and they don't do anything, then they're just going to get ragged on forever. Yes, Don. Okay, now, if he was talking to these girls, uh, one of these uh, girls may have been a cop's daughter, may have been someone who... Was... A, a cop's daughter. I mean, amazing. One of these girls might have been a cop's daughter and he was watching her on the internet flirting with an old guy. Oh, okay. The plan. Uh, by the police. Oh, a plant. So this now the story is getting even more elaborate. And again, there's no evidence that the cops came for any reason regarding any sexual behavior whatsoever. There's no zero evidence of anything like that er, anywhere. This may have been some kind of state. Now they didn't catch him doing anything, so he's free. There's nothing going out here, right? But, yeah, well, I don't think there was any way they could have caught me doing anything again, except for if I, like, opened the front door and I had a picture of Oswald on the back, on the back wall and I was, you know, <laughs> blowing dust off my AK-47. I don't think there was too much they could have done. Absolutely none of this has anything at all to do with me. And, um... Except you haven't denied you were the perpetrator to people when they asked, are you the perpetrator? So, except for that, it doesn't have anything to do with you. That's right. Or except for the fact that you had already sabotaged Fred, another guy you disagreed with. And you did that in this aggressive, personal manner. So, besides those facts, yeah, there's no fact connecting you to this at all. Except for those giant ones. If, if I were going to uh, call the police on him, uh, I would uh, call the police my full name. And I would make this known. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you were. Like, just on how you do the internet. You do the internet so honestly. Why wouldn't we think you're making crank calls to the cops honestly? Sure you would. Sure you would slander and lie about somebody um, in some sort of honest way. Yeah, no, I don't think you would. ...to everybody why I did it and what I had done. Okay, now this is one of those things where it's... I, did you do that when you did the whole Fred thing? Did you, did, or did you make an anonymous complaint? Uh, I don't know if it's a misunderstanding. I don't know what. But well, it meant it was lying because he's telling two different stories. Okay, so there's no evidence I told two different stories. They were the same stories. The consistency was there. I never talked about it being a pedophile issue or the cops asking me sex questions or doing anything like that or indicating there was any threat to children. So there was no two stories. Either they were there because of Hitner, um, and they were worried about that, uh, in, the, in the one story where he doesn't mention the school, the high school, or they were there about the high school, and they talked about the high school and the... Uh, yeah, well, that's what I said they were talking about, so that never changed. I only brought up the Hitner thing because I was trying to connect what I was talking about at the time on blog TV and why the cops were here, because I was making a logical inference that it wasn't just an insane troll, but it was an insane troll. So it wasn't even a regular troll who just complains about something honestly. No, they just make up a lie 
and you know that so I wasn't thinking oh they're just gonna lie to the cops and the cops are gonna come here uh, you know I do I am I am a little bit edgy so there there's every reason for me to believe that I could possibly say something that would honestly provoke an honest person to say I have to do something I'm not faulting that I'm just saying this was obviously dishonest and that's the problem parents being worried or for school members being worried or students being worried I don't know who um, he's in specific kind of details with that I'm not in specific I'm not given those details I accurately portrayed what the conversation with the cops was I never told two stories about what the cops inquired of me now uh, as much as I want to know the details and know what actually happens, I just really don't care. This isn't about me. It doesn't have anything to do with it. Right. It doesn't have anything to do with you except the fact that you didn't deny doing it to people when they asked you the question. Uh, but uh, with the help of Piero and Skyzor, they have made this into my issue, my thing. So um, I am not going to uh, continue to have dialogue. With who oh, what a, a horrible, frightening thing. He's not hes not going to have all those charming dialogues he has with people. Leave this retard, uh, this amendment, um, when I have provided evidence that amendment is lying. Okay, now, let's just say there's absolutely no evidence provided that I was lying. The best he did was take a bunch of different videos, completely out of context, and attempt to imply I was talking about the same thing when they were completely different conversations. Like, for example, me saying I don't like cops when that happened two years before this incident. Uh, at least he is misrepresent misrepresenting the truth. He's giving two different... Okay, there's no misrepresentation of the truth. He didn't demonstrate a single misrepresentation of any fucking goddamn truth. Of the story. And, um, and a lot of the stuff I just found out uh, this morning... Uh, going through the videos, I had right. So again, you're you somebody inquires of you. Did you did you make those the, the phone call and get the cops at Gary's house? And this is something I didn't have any idea that would took place. And he he de he doesn't deny doing something he didn't know anything about. Is that is that credible? Right on its face, that's not that's not a credible claim. Never seen some of these videos. I didn't know that uh, police had actually arrested him during a live stream. Event. All right had actually arrested him. Did you hear it? I mean, isn't this Freudian? I mean, isn't there some point you just say, Freud, 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 yeah, Freud, 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 this is Freud. Okay, this guy is a, a Freud basket fucking case. They didn't arrest me. They, they might even shared their donut with me. It, it was completely cordial conversation. The cops kind of knew they were being fucked with. They get it. But there's nothing they could do about it. Because fuckers like you cheat the system. Fucking cunt cheaters like you cheat any system. Because you can't win a fair fight. You're just dishonest weasels. Backstabbing weasels. Um, but if it was a routine uh, checkup or something, if it was something really casual... Uh, I think they would have waited till daylight hours to come over there to uh, see him. At. Yeah, exactly. And if it would have been about pedophilia that's what they they would have done an investigation they wouldn't have come if somebody if the cops find out that there's a pedophile loose they don't go to the pedophile's house and say are you a pedophile no i mean they're not going to catch the pedophile that way right that's the that's the best way not to catch the pedophile is to ask him are you a pedophile and then the pedophile will know Ooh, i must be they must be watching me i better be careful that's the last you don't catch the pedophile that way I mean, I know cops are stupid, but they, they can probably figure that out. You, I mean, you don't go to the criminal, the suspected criminal, and ask them, are you the criminal? So then they can bury all their evidence and, you know, hide the bodies another foot deeper and all that kind of crap. You don't really do that. It's dumb. So, I don't know this leaves me with more questions than answers, uh, but... Uh, no, it leaves you as a, a, a lying piece of shit who makes up stupid, silly stories and sits there and posts them on the public internet using my personal name all right, and making claims about uh, that are just outrageously unsubstantiated and indefensible with anything called a, a single grain of evidence. And it's just a disgusting thing to do, you creepy motherfucker. Um, I wouldn't uh, trust a man around children. I wouldn't trust him around Okay, so this isn't like calling somebody a pedophile. So if you just say, and you're a fucking pedophile, that's so much worse 
than doing this. You know, I mean, you people have such grotesquely double hypocrisy standards. It's outrageous. School that went around. Kids, this whole thing just went from one level of creepy to another level of creepy. Right. I'm the creep because I do a blog TV and cops have to come to my door because some asshole makes claims that I'm going to blow up a high school. Amazing. And uh, I'm glad that I'm not a part of it. And if Peter wants to defend this, he can go ahead and defend this. Right? If Von Sizer wants to defend this, he can go ahead and defend that. But I'll have nothing to do with the three of them. Yeah, well, I don't have much to do with those two idiots anyway, but yeah. <laughs> They've got every reason to, to add this 2 plus 2 and come up with, you know, Fortran or something. Uh, you know, troll, troll, troll. Little petty fucking troll. All right, so anyway, I don't even know if I want to look in the, the you, know, you know, these people are, you know, I shouldn't even bother with the comments section because they're, well, it's only two, both idiots, no doubt. This is recent. Yeah, no, it's not recent. Uh, I often use a swat of fly. I'm sure Geepley is troubled by his recent video of yours. It would be a pleasure to tune into his response. Oh, well. <laughs> then, you know, knock yourself out because here's my response. This guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> anyway. Enough of the video. Until next time. Uh... I haven't said it recently. I, I hate this planet. I just hate the motherfuckers on this planet. Ugh. Creepy fucking humans.